Good morning, Interborough. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, stay tuned for today's edition of Kaleidoscope. This is Alexa and Grace, and we are asking people what show they are watching. What show are you currently watching? American Horror Story. Sounds like a good show. What show are you currently watching? Good luck, Charlie. Love that show. <laughs> what show are you guys currently watching? I'm currently watching Bella and the Bulldogs. I'm currently watching Lucifer. Those are some good shows. What show are you guys currently watching? All American. The Flash. What show are you currently watching? Um, Rewatching Grace and Andy for like the fifth time. <laughs> American Horror Story. Good. Show. What show are you currently watching? Attack on Titan. Nice. What show are you currently watching? Drag Race. Good show, Keegan. Thanks so much. What is up, K Scope? We are back with another joke of the week. What is a jelly's favorite song? A jam. <laughs> Singing telegrams are on sale for this Valentine's Day to be delivered on Monday and Tuesday, $5 each. The select choir will sing a song and present your special summon with a rose. Sign up using this QR code and then pay at your lunch from February 8th to February 11th. Make sure you know this person's third period class. Here's a sample of what will be sung. Good morning, Interborough, and happy Black History Month. I'm Shauna Randall. And I'm Malia Williams. And today's topic is hair. The Afro comb, also known as a pick, is a styling tool used to maintain Afro styles. It originated in Africa about 6,000 years ago before re-emerging in the Americas. It gained more popularity in the 70s as black women began to release the relaxer and embrace their natural hair. The pick was not only used as a tool, but as a way to divert from this European standard of beauty. Today, it continues to stand as a symbol of black pride and identity. Box braids can be traced all the way back to 3500 BC. In Africa, box braids were a way to determine tribes, marital status, age, and religion. Often, box braids were seen as a symbol of wealth due to the amount of time and money it took to create the hairstyle. In the Americas, Box braids were used as a way of communication to help slaves escape, with the number of braids determining how many roads it would take to freedom. With the black power movement in the 60s and the 70s, box braids made a comeback, with women embracing their natural hair. Today, box braids are still very popular and not just seen as a hairstyle, but a form of self-expression. And that's today's Black History Fact in a row. Hi everyone, if you see Mrs. Gentilini today, please wish her a happy birthday. Interborough High School will be hosting their first ever boys version of Powder Puff. Instead of flag football, junior and senior boys will be playing volleyball. All proceeds will be going to the class of 2023. As of right now, the senior team has their players, but the junior team has several spots left. Junior boys, make sure to sign up in the activities office as soon as possible. And everyone else, please mark your calendars for the event on Friday, March 4th. Yesterday, the Philadelphia 76ers and Daryl Moore, their president of basketball operations, executed a blockbuster trade to acquire James Harden and Paul Millsap, trading away Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and two first-round picks. Let's get Interborough's reaction to the big deal. Uh, I think it's a great trade. Um... Ben Simmons wasn't going to play here, and I'm excited to see how Harden will uh, pair up with Embiid. I uh, think it's going to be a great trade because, like you said, Ben Simmons wasn't doing nothing. He wasn't playing, and now we got James Harden. I think he'll go good with uh, Joel Embiid. So, yeah. What do you do? Ben Simmons was garbage, for real, for real. <laughs> Y'all, nobody want to say he, he garbage. What are your thoughts about the recent 76ers trade? You know, it's interesting. Ethan, uh, first of all, thanks for thanks for asking and thanks for having me on Kaleidoscope. 
Honestly, they could have traded Ben Simmons for a bag of basketballs, and I would have been happy. <laughs> I'm just happy to be rid of him and his poor attitude. James Harden's a great scorer. I'm actually more excited about Paul Millsap, but I am sorry to see Seth and Andre go because I think they were valuable parts of the team. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Valentine's Day. I got you a battle axe. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! I got you warm peace by this Russian dude! Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Happy Valentine's Day! I got